The next area load to consider is the two-way area load. This assumes members in two directions that support the pressure load from a slab and the distribution of the DLs is triangular on the shorter sides and quadrilateral on the other sides. So to specify this, instead of say selecting all of the members along um, this plane, you simply go back to the area loads menu, select two-way area loads and specify four nodes. So for this example, we'll be specifying five, six, seven, and eight. For pressure magnitude of 1.2 KSF. We hit the apply button and by default, the view that you should see will be the 1.2 KSF pressure load. Now, when we click the equivalent area load in the view option, you'll notice that it generates a triangular distribution here and a quadrilateral distribution here, not necessarily trapezoidal. So the program is clever enough to detect multiple members that form the profile. For example, the side um, between corner nodes six and seven is broken up with between members seven and 14. However, this doesn't cause any problems at all and the triangular profile is generated perfectly. This is a similar case for the quadrilateral profile that's generated between corners um, eight and seven that has three members that separate uh, the two corner nodes. So just like before, you're able to go back to the area loads menu, select the area load you just specified and edit any of the values here from the corner nodes to the pressure magnitude to the direction. So I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching the videos on error loads. We'll see you for the next one. Thanks and bye for now.